Good afternoon, this is Joe from SalesPad, and today I'm going to show you how you can group items on a sales document. First thing we need to do is we need to go into our settings, and I'm going to shorten this group of this list of settings down by group. And for this example, I'm going to change from kitchen, bath, living room to services, merchandise, cash distributions. And I'm going to change the setting of use sales line item groups, which is defaulted to false, to true. I'm going to save it. For the setting, you don't need to log out and log back in for the changes to take effect. I'm going to open a order right here. You're going to see in here now, instead of having just a tab for all of my line items, I have one that says all, one that says services, one that says merchandise, and one that says cash distributions. I'm just going to save my sales document. I'm going to start off on the services. I'm going to come in here, click on, I clicked on the services tab, and I'm going to do a search, bring back all of my items. I'm going to pare down my list here by things that have services in the description. I'm going to add in two of these guys. You notice that I kept my service filter from the time I was in before. Alright, so now I have two different services in here. Now I'm going to add some merchandise. And I'm adding a second line of merchandise. Alright, now you'll notice in here on my services tab, I just have my service information. On my merchandise tab, I have my merchandise. And on my all tab, I have everything. So this is an example of how you can group uh, different types of items on different tabs in sales document. Hope this helps and have a good day.